evaluating expressions. So when we're evaluating expressions, we're going to start with vocabulary like we always do. So the word evaluating, what's the root word? Value. Value. Okay. So when we're evaluating an expression, we just want to find the value of an expression. For example, if we have 2xy plus z, this would be our expression. And I say find the value when x is 2, y is negative 3, and z is negative 1. So if we're going to evaluate, we're going to find the value. So I want to find the value of this expression when x is 2, y is negative 3, and z is negative 1. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is substitute. So we're going to substitute these values into this expression. And I want you to use parentheses. So we're going to have two parentheses. This is our x. What was x? Two. Two. Very good. And what is y? Negative three. Negative three. Excellent. And then we're going to add z. Negative one. And then we're going to follow the order of operations. So you have to follow the order of operations. So in this example, when we add, multiply, what are we going to do? Multiply. And we multiply left to right. So 2 times 2, 4. And we add the number 1. 4 times negative 3. And 12. And we add the negative 1. So our final answer. Negative 13. And that's it. Very simple. For this example, let's do another one. Maybe there'll be one with division, fractions. Any questions on this one, though? We're good? Yes. Correct. Wait, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good now, have your permission? Yeah. No? No? The first thing we need to do. <coughs> Substitute. Very good. And we're going to use what? Parentheses. It's important you use parentheses because it helps you keep track of your negatives. Okay? So we have two parentheses A, which is negative 3, times B which is 4, and we're going to divide by C, which is negative 2. Okay. <coughs> Any 
Any questions on the substitution? Why did you put parentheses on A and not on the rest? I don't know. It's negative. <laughs> <laughs> it's negative. That's how my hand wrote it. It came out like that. Oh. If you don't like them, we can erase them. <laughs> but when you substitute them here, make sure you use parentheses. Because okay. it helps you preserve that negative. Especially if there were negatives in here. Okay, and we'll do another one like that with a negative. So now that we use parentheses, substituted. What's next? Order of operation. Order of operation. We must follow the order of operation. So if we follow the order of operations, we will multiply and divide. Since it's a fraction, we're going to do this separately. So we're going to take care of the numerator first. If there's any operations down here, we do those second. Then we can try to reduce the fraction. So let's take care of the top. 2 times negative 3. Negative Give us a negative 6. 6 times 4. Negative 44. And then if we divide that, we get 12. Is that the only way to have done that problem? No. We could have reduced, right? We could have divided the 2's here. So if we divide these, you'd still get 4 times 3, which is 12, and your negative and negative would make it positive, okay? So there's more than one way to do a problem. You still have to follow the rules. Okay, we're good? One last example. Let's do a negative where we have negatives here. I'll wait till I have your permission. Yes. 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 I hear a no. Yes. Can we do one minute? Okay. One with minus, one with exponent. That way we have all the order of operations going on. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. So what if we have A minus B times C plus A B squared? What about that? Where we know that A is going to be 2. B, let's have B at <coughs> negative 3. C. Right, so now here you have to be extra careful when you make those substitutions. So the first thing we're going to substitute, use parentheses. So what's A? Two. Two. What's B? Negative three. Negative three. What's C? Five. 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 And A was two. And B, A three. We're going to square that. So if we follow our order of operations, where do we work first? Inside the parentheses. Inside the parentheses. So we still follow the order of operations. We don't just throw those out the window. We work inside the parentheses. Inside those parentheses, what would we do first? The exponent. The exponent. And negative 3 squared is what? 9. Positive 9 or negative 9? Positive 9. Positive 9. Very good. We had that discussion earlier. Still working in the parentheses. We multiply first or add first? Multiply. multiply. That's 18. And 5 plus 18? 23.
Then what should we do next? Multiply. multiply. We would multiply so we can take care of those. Negative times positive. Negative. And two negatives make a positive. So what do we get? 71. Very easy. Make sure you just do these two things. When you substitute, use parentheses so that this expression okay, looks like what we were doing with the order of operations. And then you just follow the order of operations. That's it. Simple.